My. This is quite the gathering. Why did they come here of all places? It's so hot. Perhaps they are trying to catch the cool air blowing over the water. We are rather interested in entering the water ourselves, if possible. Where are your swimsuits? You're talking about special apparel for entering water, yes? Of course we lack such things. Hmm. We can't go in the water in these outfits. Our master would be none too pleased on our return. By the way, I noticed a peculiar group over there. I do not know why, but they stand in a loose formation, striking a plastic sphere back and forth. It was probably a summoning ritual. See? It looks like they're trying to build a shriveled decab... Decab... Decabia... Decabia army. We're going with that one. Volleyball. Beach volleyball? Never heard of it. What is it? <sighs> I see. So it is a form of human recreation. Is that some variation of beach volleyball they're playing over there? It looks like they're using a ball as well. Where's the watermelon? Straight, straight, right, right. Too far. Go back. No, not all, not that way. I know what this is. It's called Suiko Wari, correct? From what I've heard, splitting a watermelon with a stick can be a great pleasure. How barbaric. What's so fun about that? Mm. Watermelon is very tasty. Oh, so splitting a watermelon open makes it taste better than simply cutting it? Human desire knows no bounds when it comes to food. So this place has more benefits to it than just an ocean breeze. Humans can come here to fulfill their desires and release their frustration. Then, the ocean sweeps up all those feelings and washes them away. <laughs> I must say, I find myself quite impressed with this mother ocean. We now know our, why humans gather at this beach, so we have Determine this request to be complete. Huh. Don't We've been fall rewarding behind. you every time for these. You better take these assignments seriously, inmate. As suggested by the moniker Mother Ocean, some say humanity was originally born from the ocean. Perhaps the true reason humans gather here is that their instincts beckon them home. Hey, inmate, do you know? Do you grow? Nostalgic when you swim in Mother Ocean? Try swimming with a ball and chain on your leg next time. I bet that'll help with your rehabilitation too. Now, let us return. It's grown quite hot. You must escort us back now. Oh? Hmm, so that ace detective is serious, huh? I see. Oh yeah, there's something I need to apolog apologize to you about. You know, it's part of my job to research particular things. Well, um, I ended up finding about your criminal record. I realized you weren't just some ordinary kid back with my chief. So I did some digging out of curiosity and I found a lot more than I was expecting. Sorry. Sorry about that. I have to say though, the ruling made in your case was really odd. Some kind of deal must have gone down between the scenes to make sh sure that that was the end result. That must have been tough for you to handle. Just You're just a kid. <laughs> well, just forget about the past. We're in the same boat when it comes to being labeled. Because of your incident? Exactly. It's I've made a vow to avenge my partner for... Whoops. Lalachan, refill! No, it's your turn to tell the truth. You can't go rooting around the kid's past and expect to keep your own secrets hidden. Wait, don't blame me for that. He doesn't have any business. He doesn't have anything to do with my private business. You can trust me. I mean, it's not like I don't trust you and- oh, Hold on a sec. Why am I getting treated like the bad guy? 
because you are. Look, you're gonna feel way better talking to someone who understands exactly what you're going through. Besides, you'll explode if you keep all that alcohol-fueled anxiety bottled up in you. That's true. And I, I guess this is the fairest action, course of action for our, our business partnership, huh? Just don't tell anyone, okay? Back when I covered politics for my publisher, I had a partner who helped me with photography, Kayo Murakami. We were a pretty well-known team in the industry. We blew the lids off countless scandals together. That is, until that day came. We were on the trail of a certain bureaucrat who was involved in a slush fund to support refugees. He kept himself pretty well guarded, so it was almost impossible to get any solid leads on the guy. Then, one night, I got a voicemail from Kayo saying she had gotten hold of something big, but that was the last time I ever heard from her. The next day, that bureaucrat was found dead at a love hotel, and Kayo had gone missing. What was the cause of death? Well, the cause of death is unknown. The authorities couldn't tell whether it was a murder or a suicide. As for the killer, Shit. the police accused Kayo. They said she killed him in a crime of passion. That's impossible, though. She never would have slept with a disgusting man like that. And more importantly, it's pretty damn fucked up to make allegations like that without any evidence. Ichiko Khan. Ichiko. Ichi. Ichiko Chan. Sorry. The case was closed, and we never found the truth, and Kayo was labeled a professional disgrace. And since we were partners, the company decided it would be best to move me to another department. I'm going to prove Kayo's innocence, though. That's why I'm conducting my own private investigation now. That's unforgivable. You're damn right. But thanks to all the info you've been giving me, I should have more time to focus on my investigation. I won't let this opportunity slip through my fingers. Alright, we're even now. I didn't enjoy it, though. You sure about that? It's been ages since I've seen you smile this much. Well, maybe you're right. I haven't felt this alive in a long time. <laughs> okay then. I'll write a great article to commemorate our sharing session. Exclusive, the Phantom Thieves lofty ideals in connection with a secret society. Just kidding, don't worry. I'll definitely come up with a better headline before we go to print. Alright. Hmm. Still, there's just one thing that bothers me. There's no doubt the chief is on to my investigation. <laughs> Maybe we should keep acting like a couple so we can trick him. Does, how's that sound? Oh, leave the kid alone. Hey, it's getting late. Shouldn't you be getting home by now? Hey kid, can we talk? I'm sorry about earlier, really. For me, digging up your records and such without asking, I mean... Eh, I don't mind. Thanks. Wearing, hearing you say that helps. Don't worry. I'm not gonna leak it to anyone. It's my duty and pride as a journalist to protect my sources at all costs. I'm actually making great progress on my private investigation, thanks to you. And I'll be needing your help later, too, so I can find out what really happened to Kaio. So, yeah. Here's to helping each other out. Bye bye I wonder how much longer this heat will continue. It's exhausting. You know the rankings that are popular nowadays. Are you interested in them, too? Of course. 
I don't blame you. Everyone's paying attention to it. Did you know my name is listed too? It's apparently due to my recent disapproval of the group. Before I knew it, I turned into a bona fide villain. Still, I thought that if I became a target, I could figure out their methods. The idea was appealing when I thought about it. Of course, there's no guarantee I'd be safe. Well, talking anymore will make us late. See you later. Oh yeah, this time tomorrow we're gonna be in Hawaii. I can't wait. So pumped, Ryuji. You know you're not leaving until tomorrow night, right? Wait, for real? Enough of the chit chat. You should be concentrating on class. I don't care about that after what I just heard. I'm totally out of motivation to work. Sounds like business as usual. Well, think. Time to research sightseeing spots in Hawaii. You get over that pretty damn fast. Oh yeah. Are there any famous places in LA? Hollywood. It has a vibrant art scene as well. I expect the trip will provide, will prove quite stimulating. That th doesn't hold a candle to Hawaii's beaches, though. There are a multitude of fabulous beaches near LA as well, you know. Huh? It's close to the ocean. Do you know where LA is? Well, it's the capital of America, so in the middle of nowhere. What about Hawaii? No, no, some ocean, I guess. You're hopeless. How long are you all going to keep this up? Hey. I'm thinking of resigning. Several of my suppliers have stated that they're going to stop selling to me. If I can't get my hands on medical supplies, I won't be able to get what I need to complete the new medicine. They're probably being pressured by Oyamata to stop doing business with me, so I figure it's over. What about Miwachan? It's fine. I confirmed with the hospital Miwachan was being treated at. Oyamata was telling the truth. Miwachan was apparently smiling until the very end. She probably didn't want to worry anyone. I wish I could have cured her. I didn't want fame or money. All I wanted was to keep her smiling. This isn't just about her, though. <sighs> I was going to help every single person who is suffering from that disease. Same here. I was a sickly child when I was young, too. I was always in the hospital and was rarely well enough to attend school at all. Medicine was all that kept me alive. That's why I wanted to become a doctor. So I could save people. Just like I was saved. <laughs> but I guess this is where it ends. The medical industry is a business after all, and the chief decides what's best for it. I'm all out of allies. You're right. You might just be my one and only. I really appreciate everything you've done. <laughs> my practice increased thanks to your nosiness, and in the end, I felt like a real doctor again. So, thank you. And your patience. There are plenty of other small town doctors. Is where it ends. Although it frustrates me. I can't do clinical trials anymore, so you can go home. Thanks. Thanks again for all of the, your help, and good luck on those entrance exams. Bye. What's his whole name? What are you trying to do? You mean Oyamata? Why? I hope you're not planning to get revenge for me. It's for my research. You're such a weird kid. This 
full name is Shoichi Yamada. He's a very influential chief of staff in the world of medicine. Is that all? Take care. We will be parting ways tomorrow. I pray both trips go smooth, go safely. Thank you. Take care of yourself, you Yusuke. And Futaba will be relying on you for the analysis. Leave it to me. Just let us know if anything comes up, okay? Hey, okay. Then off we go. Look after Morgana for us. Have a nice trip. <sighs> Never mind. Have fun on your trip. You're taking off, huh? <laughs> Don't go cutting loose just because I'm not there to keep an eye on you. I'll look after Futaba and the cat while you're gone. You owe me one. We'll talk more about our next job once you get back. I can't wait. Good. over six hours to get there, so why not sleep on the plane? I'll do that. Oh, it's almost time to check in. <sighs> Looks like it's gonna take off on time. I feel like a lot of flights headed to America tend to run late or get canceled. Is it just me, or is Ryuji not here yet? Ah. <sighs> I wasn't expecting to make a mad dash like this. Coming late even on a day like this? That's all you're bringing. Well, it's only four nights, right? Ain't it enough? Hmm. Yeah, it'll be fun either way. Yeah, that! Well, I guess so. Hey guys, they want us to gather near the boarding gate soon. Why don't we take a group shot before we take off? Oof, sounds good! You be our cameraman, okay? Let me join in too! You too, Makoto! <laughs> Alright. Uh, huh? Uh, where am I supposed to look? Let me see! Let me see! Ryuji, you've got crap on your eyes. What? Holy shit, she's right. How could you tell, Futaba? You surprised? I snuck on I snuck an app on Reginald's phone. I can see all I want through his camera. You're looking now, right, Reginald? <laughs> you can't underestimate the original Medjet. Talk about a nasty trick! I am so glad she's not an enemy of ours. Thing. 
Oh, man! The ocean is so blue! <laughs> Yes, we're here! Hawaii! I am so embarrassed. Oh, is this the smell of Hawaii? Actually, I've been wondering since the airport, but uh, what is this smell? Supposedly the lingering scent of carpet cleaner. It's coconut scented. Plus, I'd say the scent of plumeria for the Lays are amplifying the tropical atmosphere here. <laughs> what are you, the king of random facts? <laughs> I'm the type that likes to look up stuff beforehand. Then, uh, tell me a cheap but good place to eat. Do that after we've figured out room assignments. We can't go out until we get our keys. I want a room with this guy. You belong to a different class, Sakamoto-kun. I can't? It complicates roll call. Everyone butts you out, after all. I bet there aren't many people who'd be okay rooming with you. Shut up! We both stick out like a sore thumb, you know. Takamaki-san, have you decided on which room to stay in? No, not yet. In that case, how about rooming with me? And if it's okay with you, do you want to walk around together once we're free to go about? We've never gone overseas before, so we thought it'd be reassuring if we had someone who knows English. Oh, sure, of course. Well, see you guys later. Come on, can you just hurry up and make your decision? Oh, then is it okay if I room with you? No, it's fine. It's decided then. Anyway, don't do anything stupid, okay? This isn't Japan, you know. So this is Waikiki. Well, there sure are a ton of people here. And a lot of tall buildings like hotels. It's a little too clean here. Feels like an artificial resort. Still, look how clear the ocean is. The palm trees definitely give off a tropical vibe, too. I thought On was pretty impressive, but compared to the foreign ladies? Meh. Then stop looking! You think so too, don't you? Like, these ladies are massive unlike the girls in Japan. Tongue of yours. Moving on, take a look over there. Isn't that Diamond Head? Oh, I saw it from the bus too. But why is it called that? Are diamonds a local product? Wouldn't it say online? Ah, there we go. Wait, people long ago mistook volcanic rock for it? The F? Might as well look up recommended places in Waikiki too. Oh, right. I wanted to eat pancakes. I wonder if there are any online recommendations of scenic spots. We should check for cheap and popular restaurants then. Hey, we're on our phones and chatting. This is no different from when we're in Japan. Even if we're overseas, we can see all the news in Japan if we got our phones. It's like, God, this ain't what I was expecting. We should do something that's more Hawaii-like. What's Hawaii-like? Uh, hula dancing? Uh-uh, I ain't down for that. We can finally take a breather. Oh, by the way, you know how the polls for the fan site ranking started, right? Yeah. It's been really lively, huh? I'm the one who made the website, but even I'm surprised. I can't believe I'm part of such a huge thing. I'm so glad I've been rooting for the Phantom Thieves. On the contrary, did you hear about Akechi, that detective against the thieves? The good looking one. His popularity plummeted after Medjet was dealt with. Supposedly his official blog's up in flames. 
He posed as some hero of justice, but that's what he gets for not seeing eye to eye with them. Uh, to be blunt, I can't focus on this trip. I keep thinking about the Phantom Thieves. Don't you think about them too? The, the dude. Oh my gosh. Is it too late to room with Ryuji? Ugh. Let's just go to sleep. You sure are calm. Something this amazing rarely happens, you know? But then again, I think I'm feeling a bit tired too. Ah, let's go to bed. Good night. Man, it's nothing but Japanese people around here. I thought we were gonna be getting alohas coming from all directions and stuff. It costs money to enjoy that atmosphere, you know? There's not much we can do as students. I guess it's the same no matter where we go. Hey, what's with the low energy, Makoto? I just had to listen to the taxi driver complain for 30 minutes straight. I'm used to dealing with students' troubles, but I never expected to have to do it overseas as well. That must have sucked. We should be doing some more exciting stuff. I mean, we're in freaking Hawaii, for God's sake. Isn't the school supposed to plan stuff? I want to go diving! It seems there wasn't enough time to come up with any kind of coordinated travel plan. That lack of coordination is what led to them using students as chaperones as well. By the way, you're rooming with Mishima, right? How is it? Anything interesting? He won't shut up. Really? Mishima-kun is the one who made the fan site, correct? Fan site? You know, I do hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves every so often. Are they really mentioning us? I think so. We've already made our international debut. Man, just talking about that makes me want to go back to Japan so bad. You really have no chill. Come on, let's try and forget about those things for now. But people are waiting for us to fix society. We don't got time to be relaxing over here. Ain't that right, Yusuke? Wait, what the hell? Overseas travel provides a great opportunity for new insight. I'd prefer we stay here a bit longer. What are you doing here? Wasn't your school supposed to be going to Los Angeles? Apparently they couldn't land the plane due to a terrible storm brewing on the west coast. There were no signs of it letting up, so our destination was changed on the spot to Hawaii. Do you just bring rain wherever you go? Could it be that what happened at the fireworks festival was his fault as well? Don't go bringing any storms here, you got that? I'll do my best. By the way, there's nothing planned after this. What are you all gonna do? Uh, oh yeah, I, I still gotta buy souvenirs. My mom asked me to grab some stuff for her. I totally forgot about that. We need to pick things up for Futaba and Morgana too. I was hoping to do some shopping myself. Then it's settled. I wonder what Morgana would want. Man... Our group's totally the same even out of Japan. Huh. I didn't realize Big Bang Burger was in Hawaii, too. Yeah, it's been getting real popular in Japan lately. I guess they wanted to branch out. Now that you mention it, I read a news article recently about the success of Okumura Foods. Ah, yes. The company that owns Big Bang Burger. Okumura? Ain't that the guy who's at the top of the fan site rankings? Is that true? I guarantee it. I don't make mistakes about that kind of stuff. Yeah, sure you don't. Do I hear sarcasm? Hmm? What's the matter? Oh, it's probably nothing. Just a rumor I heard about Okumura Foods. Supposedly, all of their overseas competition has mysteriously pulled out. Never mind. I'm surely just overthinking things. Sis's habits seem to be rubbing off on me. Hey, why don't we take a pic together? You know, so we can remember the trip and all. Ooh, good idea! Yeah, there's a up over there. Are you sure you don't want to be in it? <laughs> Thanks. I only ask that you ensure the composition is well balanced. Ugh, can you not worry about that stuff for one second? Go for it. Hmm, we 
still have some time to spare, right? Where to next? There's a convenience store down by the beach. How about there? That sounds lovely. I would quite like a short rest. All right, let's head over there. Hmm. Huh. Don't you think the food around here is kind of salty? You might be right. Oh, shoot. I forgot my sunscreen. I'm going to go buy another bottle at the convenience store. I'll go with you. I guess we will need to wait for them to come back. I'm so bored. By the way, you think we're the thieves everyone here has been going on about? It'd be pretty freaking crazy if that was true, huh? So crazy. Huh. I had not heard of such rumors. It sounds wonderful. We are already here, so why don't we confirm if that is the case? Oh, good idea! Let's try asking around while we wait for Ron and Makoto. Huh? Hey, ain't she kinda cute? Maybe we should ask her some questions, too. Uh, free time is almost up. Shouldn't you be heading back soon? That's right. By the way, your blonde friends seem very excited on the airplane coming here. Hey, you're that girl we saw watering the plants. Sorry to surprise you. I'm another third year who was asked to come chaperone this trip. I accepted the task to take my mind off of things, but I wasn't sure how to spend my free time. We're here! I think I should be going. See you. Sorry, were you waiting long? Hmm. That girl you were talking to just now, do you know her? No, that was my first interaction with her. She said she was a third year, the same as you, Makoto. Mm-hmm. I've never really spoken to her, though. Ah, it looks like our free time is over. Let's head back to the hotel. Oh, what am I doing? I feel like such an idiot for getting psyched for this. Then again, we are on a trip, so... Excuse me, Miss Kawakami? About the post-beach plans. Ah! Um, did I find you at a bedtime? N not at all! What's the matter? Glad that scene was on it. Found it. One after another, too. What did you find? Still working, can't tell you. <laughs> she can handle this without me. Ooh, so much! All I'm good for is driving them around in mementos. I'm basically useless. Kitty, your mumbling's distracting me! If you got something to say, just spit it out. It's nothing. What were you saying? Let me go! You feel so nice. I do not! So smooth and silky. It's kind of hard to believe fur this soft belongs to a human. Don't make me say it again! I'm a human! Couldn't you just be assuming that? I had the wrong assumptions about my mom for the longest time. It's not the same. I understand myself better than anyone! That's true. <sighs> there are even more posts now. Oh, wow! The president of a company called Okumura Foods is rising very quickly up the rankings. We're on a trip, you know. Come on! You can't let this chance pass you by. It's rumored that Okumura Foods exploits their employees. Stuff like underpaying staff to reduce labor costs. That's how they have so many stores. What's up? Oh, thank God. Yo. Why are you here? Just hear me out. The guy I'm rooming with went and brought his girlfriend back to the room. It felt totally awkward staying in there with him. I'm just gonna sleep here tonight. Even though there are only two beds? Coming! Takamaki? The girl I was sharing a room with took off to her boyfriend's room. 
I know that feeling. And she took the key. I stepped outside for just a second and the auto lock kicked in. I can't get back in my room. Huh? You're looking at stuff online even over here? Ever since the MedJet case, many people from overseas have been accessing the website. Isn't it crazy? The Phantom Thieves are finally making their worldwide debut. Oh, what should I do about overseas requests? I, I don't think we're the ones you should ask about that. They took down MedJet. I wonder who they'll bring justice to next. It's not just Japan anymore. The whole world's waiting to see the Phantom Thieves' next move. That reminds me, what time is it? <sighs> oh, so sleepy. I'm feeling pretty pooped. You think this could be that jet lag thing? It'll be too much hassle for me to go anywhere else. I'll just sleep in here tonight. Wait, what? I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. Serious? Don't worry, I trust you guys. I saw that one coming. There are only two beds, even if someone sleeps on the sofa. One of us is gonna have to sleep on the floor. So who's that gonna be? Oh, hey, playing cards. Why don't we use these to decide? Yes! What? I'm all the way in Hawaii, and I'm stuck sleeping on the floor. Hey, where'd Mishima go? He's in the bathroom. Ain't he been in there a while? The school trip. Shiho was really looking forward to this. On. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring the mood down. But it's already been almost six months since then, hasn't it? <laughs> this all feels so strange. Right? Hard to believe the rowdy kids at school are now famous all over the world. Don't you think we still have a lot to learn about each other, though? You know, things like what kind of people we like. So, time to come clean, Ryuji. Me? Uh, well, she's gotta have a good personality. I'm okay with anyone who's modest and nice. What about if two girls with equally good personalities confess to you at the same time? If they're equally nice, uh, then it'd have to be the one with the hotter bod. So looks are what's most important to you. What? Your first answer was just superficial. The second answer was your true beliefs. Huh. So you really are that kind of guy. That ain't fair! What about you? Come on, spill the beans. What kind of girl is your type? I don't know, honestly, I don't... I don't have a type that much. You totally dodged the question. Well, we answered honestly. It's your turn next. So, what kind of guy do you? So, what kind of guy do you? My stomach. <sighs> that doesn't sound good. You know, wasn't he drinking the tap water earlier? That's like the one thing you're not supposed to do when you're out of the country. No, I believe that is a wise decision. Though it was some third-rate tabloids article. Unnecessary information was leaked, after all. Besides, his investigation of the Phantom Thieves showed no progress since then. Yes, there's a possibility that he'll betray us out of spite since he was let go. Well, then. We'll make it so that it was a heart attack. As usual, he'll be left to deal with the... Oh, I wouldn't have thought of that. Well played, sir. It no longer matters if we deal with one or two of those connected to us. <sighs> Our trip is almost over. By tomorrow night, we'll be in the airplane heading home. Damn it! This isn't how stuff was supposed to go. What do you mean? We ended up walking around, same as we always do in Japan. I mean, we even ate out of freaking Big Bang Burger. It's like we never left! 
Wine all you'd like, but that's what the trip was supposed to be. Uh, weren't some other guys getting all cozy with their girlfriends or some shit? I think... And that's it! That's what this trip is missing! Come on, we totally gotta get moving during our free time in the afternoon. What are we going to do? Make a once-in-a-lifetime summer memory! Hawaii's famous for its beaches, and, you know, what happens in Hawaii stays in Hawaii. We can get some girls' numbers during the day, then sneak away to them at night. <laughs> you in or what? Me too? It'll be great! Neither of us have girlfriends who get mad about it either. I guess it's true, but... Come on, I know you're acting all cool, but you're totally coming with. No question about it. Ooh, you get a message? Who could that be? Uh, actually, you don't gotta answer that. It might be something about you-know-what. Come on, Mishima, let's go. Wait, what just happened? It's only going to be the two of us, Sakamoto? Don't give me that look. We're going to Waikiki. Try to get a little more excited. And... Could that have been a phantom thief message? I should check when there's nobody else around. I'd love to go for a walk on the beach. We're in Hawaii, after all. I can finally take a break from my job, too. If you don't have any plans, would you like to take a walk with me? Really? Thank you. Should I wear a swimsuit? Well, see you later. Sorry to ask you out here so suddenly. Being a chaperone is more difficult than I expected. We've had a lot of meetings. I honestly wanted to contact you earlier, but this is the first free moment I've had. Stop. <laughs> You're doing great. Thank you. All right then, let's take a walk. Oh, a food stand. Garlic shrimp. I've heard that's a famous Hawaiian dish. Are you adventurous when it comes to food? Yeah, sometimes. That's amazing. I always just stick with the standard fare. Well, let's give it a try. You two from Japan? Uh, yes, we are. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. <laughs> How do you know about them? Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? Seems like we're even making headlines abroad. Say, if you run into them, tell them I say hello. And ask them to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> uh, 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 of course. I'll do just that. That's amazing. How beautiful. Oh, it's already so late. My sister would be upset if she saw me laid back like this. To tell you the truth, I wasn't particularly eager to go on this trip, but if it's like this, I think I'd like to come again. Yo, chaperone on us next year, too. You know I'm graduating this year. Um, <laughs> I'd like you to have this. It's not the best souvenir, but it will remind you of the memories we made today. <laughs> Thank goodness. Well, we should probably return before it gets dark. Just a little longer. I suppose I can't complain about that. Ugh, 
It was terrible getting dragged around by Sakamoto all day. Do you think I'll have to go through this on future school events as well? It's a definite possibility. Yikes. <sighs> I don't know. It's fun hanging out with Sakamoto, but he might be too different from me. Is getting a girlfriend my only way out of this situation? Well... Anyway, we need to wake up early tomorrow. Let's get some sleep, okay? Hey. We're still open for business. Get that cat upstairs. Aww. It's not like anyone's coming in anyway. Plus, if someone does come, you can just tell them it's a cat cafe. You know that line's not gonna work. Excuse me. Hey! What did I tell you? Get that cat out of here! I'm sorry! Oh, no, please! There's, there's no need. I'm sorry. Huh? Wait a sec. It's... I was told that, um, Crime Boy Kun is lodging at a cafe. And I just happened to be passing by, so... Uh-huh. I see. You teach at his school, huh? Not really. I'm just a counselor. Well, in that case, I apologize for the cat. Normally, he stays upstairs. It's fine by me. I love animals. <laughs> they don't seem to share the sentiment, though. <laughs> mm. What the heck's he doing here? Reginald's off on his little trip. No clue. He's just some alien-level stranger to me. Say, you talk with your cat. That's so neat. <laughs> Sorry, did I frighten you? My apologies, I, I just found it impressive, is all. <sighs> Sorry about the cold shoulder over there. Just take the cat upstairs, okay? I'll call you back down when it's all clear. Come on, Futaba. We'll just be in the way down here. Let's go. <gasps> that book! Oh, this? I'm, it's on a subject called cognitive science. Any interest? <laughs> what? You're... I'm sorry, but you need to leave. Don't worry about the bill. Huh? I I'm so sorry if there was anything I... The cafe is now closed. I'll have to ask you to... Sojiro! I'm okay! He stays. What good is driving your few customers away gonna do, you know? Futaba. <laughs> so, that book, is it what you teach, uh, sir? I mean, mister? Hmm. Well, uh, <laughs> no, not at all. I, I'm not a teacher. What's it for, then? It's just a personal interest of mine. I've been studying it for years now. It's difficult to grasp at times, but it's quite useful. Fun to study, too. It's fun? Yeah. Well, of course. It's a wonderful division of science that can help many people. That makes it pretty fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mom thought the exact same thing. Mom? Her mother studied it, too. What I don't get is why you're studying something like that, though. Well, you are a high school counselor, right? I guess it does make some sense, being related to your field and all. Your mom thought that too, huh? She sounds like a wonderful woman. <laughs> Hell yeah! My mom owned! She loved me so much! <sighs> Past tense, huh? I see. Right. Well, I'm sure she'd be very proud. Come on, Mona, let's go. Off to a menless room. Hey, wait! Hey, wait, Futaba! Sorry about that. Would you care for another? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> your true, your coffee truly is amazing. Huh. Thanks. Man, things sure are changing around. This 
school trip is finally coming to a close. I never thought I would have the chance to go on one this year as well. Barely even felt like I was out of the country, though. Even Yusuke showed up. I'm simply glad the storm didn't make its way over here. It may not have been the most exciting trip, but we still had a good time. Honestly, though, I'm thankful we didn't have to deal with the storm. They truly are dreadful. So, what did you end up doing yesterday? You keeping secrets from me? That's against the bro code! Yeah, I was with someone. Dude, for real? Actually, don't say anything. Last thing I need is your secret lover coming after me with an axe. More like some fist weapons. That's enough, you guys. It felt like this trip went by in a flash. I'm not sure if I want to go home or stay here longer at this point. Hey, why don't we shop for souvenirs together before it's time to go? Ooh, count me in! Allow me to join you as well. Although I have no funds for souvenirs. You're going to be able to get back to Japan, right? What do you think Morgana and Futaba would like? The traditional souvenir from Hawaii is usually chocolate. Oh, but Morgana can't eat chocolate. Well, he tells us that he's not a cat, so maybe it's fine? If we're gonna get him souvenirs, we gotta pick stuff they'll really wig out over. Why don't we split up and look around then? Look! They have coffee with butter in it. Do you think it tastes good? There's acai powder over here. Doesn't it feel like you could just spend forever at places like these? I know what you mean. We've come all the way to Hawaii. I think it'd be best for our gifts to focus on impact rather than taste. Oh, well said. In that case... Let's find something we wouldn't buy ourselves, but we'd be happy to get as a gift. I'm not seeing anything. I mean, this is Futaba and Morgana we're talking about. Their standards for happiness are way too high! Yusuke, you find something? An hourglass that measures three-minute increments. Uh, w why? Well, Futaba loves instant yakisoba. It brilliantly meets the requirements of an item I wouldn't buy for myself, but would please me to receive. But can't she just buy one of those in Japan? Oh crap, we're almost out of time! Okay, Yusuke and I will find Futaba's souvenir and we'll leave Morgana's to you. Hello? Senpai! Hello? <laughs> That's a much more appropriate greeting. Aloha! Huh? Who's that? Find anything suitable? Hmm? That girl? Ah, sorry to be a bother. I'm Yoshizawa, a first year. It's nice meeting you all. Oh, you're that gymnast! Yes, that's right. Our club is here at a training camp to get ready for the next big meet, and I just happened to find him. The last meet was only a short while ago, though. You're already training for the next one? You seem to be making quite the effort. Well, I absolutely have to get the results I'm looking for at the next competition. The team's been training with a famous coach who lives here on the island. She's working us especially hard. We end up in tears almost every day. Your dedication to training even when overseas is admirable. We should all learn from your example. Yep. Good luck at the next meet. We're all rooting for you. Thank you. Your kind words may be what keeps me from crying today. Hey, uh, it's fine if you do cry, though. You know what they say, what doesn't thrill you makes you stronger. Ah, I almost forgot we're out of time here. Uh, well, I'm gonna go pay for my stuff. Ooh, I ought to do that too. See you later, Yoshizawa-san. Yes, it was nice meeting you all. Your friends seem like a fun bunch. They're weird. You must mean they're unique. Well, I know I'm going to win for sure this time. I'll prove to everyone what I'm made of. Considering the rank I got last time, though, 
I also got this souvenir as a sort of insurance. Love charm? I bought it earlier today at this branch of a Japanese shrine here in Hawaii. I always used to buy some kind of charm before a big competition. My sister was even more stringent with her own superstitions. The thing is, I forgot to pick one up before the last meet. I'll be fine now, though. I just know it. I should probably get going. I almost forgot that I still need to pick up souvenirs for my family. Sorry for keeping you so long. I'll see you later, all right? Welcome back. You get tanned a bit? How was Hawaii? It was fun. I'm glad I paid for your travel expenses then. While you guys were off having fun, things here have gotten a bit more complicated. So I've heard the surprisingly hot items at the moment are masks and calling cards. Here's a graph of the profits for stores handling these items. Double from last year. Phantom Thief goods seem to be in especially high demand. I didn't know they sold that kind of stuff. Should we try to? I mean, selling Phantom Thief merchandise? Oh, hold on. What about copyright? I don't think we need to worry about that. They'll get caught the second they try to sue. Not like I'd actually want to sell their stuff, though. I wonder how our guests consider this recent phenomenon. What do you think, Akechi-kun? Well... There he is, the anti-thief detective. I hope he slips up and self-destructs. <laughs> I can sense some chivalry behind their actions. They are clever to take the silent resentments of the public into account and relieve them. I believe that may be the secret to their popularity. Well, this is surprising. Your stance seems to have softened. This doesn't change the fact that they are dangerous. However... No, I shouldn't say any more. Come on, you can say it. Oh no, I won't be falling for that. I've learned my lesson after the previous backfire. These thieves are more popular than the police or politicians. What's the world coming to? Rude! What are you so angry about? Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Take care of any customers that show up. I finished the analysis. You know, of the data. Wanna meet now? Seriously? Jet lag? Fine then. Tomorrow. Attention, all ye jet lagged. Someone from Chujin came to Leblanc yesterday. What? Who? Uh, he had messy hair and glasses. I don't know, just sounds like Reginald to me. Oh, that's right. Maruki did stop by. Where 
Was his name Maruki? I think so. Dr. Maruki, the counselor. He said he was studying cognitive science. He's in that field too. You don't think he's connected to the incident with Fudaba's mother? Oh no, I didn't get that vibe from him. He seemed actually interested in cognitive science. It wasn't like he was just using it. You two are got talking then. A little. He seemed nice. For a stranger to connect with Futaba is no easy feat. He must have quite a talent for this. I'm not sure talent is a word for it, but yeah, he's cool. What, you want to get him to counsel you too? I see no point in having my heart probed by an utter stranger. Truth, man. Still, I am curious as to how he managed to negate Futaba's usual reticence. I don't know. We just talk normally. But he, he's such a good listener, right? Maybe we, you ended up talking more than usual. So it's true. He does have some extraordinary effect. Surely he must have some greater insight. The better to SB the innermost troops in the heart. Holy shit, this dude has SP? ESP? SP. To see or perceive. Makoto, is there any way you could arrange for me to meet him? What? Me? But you want to meet him that badly? Please, I feel there is something here I must confirm for myself. Well, I can't make anything happen instantly, but I'll see what I can do. My sincerest thanks. I'm looking forward to finally meeting him. <laughs> Actually, there's something I want to talk to you about. Never mind. You should probably get some rest. Don't worry, it's nothing important. Hey, sis. You just got back from your trip and you're already studying? How diligent. I have souvenirs for you. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. Huh? He suddenly stopped while crossing the road and was struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. Principal Kobayakawa committed suicide? But would someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? He even used a taxi to get there. Do you mean this might be another incident? Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Are you saying he was targeted by the Phantom Thieves? But that's impossible! How are you so certain? W well, uh, in prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's uh, hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? I don't really know. He rarely contacted the students, after all. I see. Could something have happened during the school trip? Oh, you're studying. I'm sorry to bother you. Makoto? Hmm? N never mind, it's nothing. Just don't get dragged into trouble, okay? I better tell the others. <sighs> it's our first time at school in a while. I'm so sleepy. You over your jet lag? Not yet. Still sluggish, huh? Well, same here, dude. Never mind that, though. Did you know about this? These phantom deeds are popular now. I was surprised when we got back to Japan. People are actually paying attention to who we're gonna target next. Ain't that amazing? I'm getting pretty psyched. This is where we work hard. Let's do something big again. Surprise the world. Good morning. Good morning, Crime Boy Senpai and Sakamoto Senpai, correct? Oh, morning. <laughs> You're back today too, huh? Yes, it's good to see you both. Um, May I join you two on the way to school? I want to talk a little bit more about the trip, and I want to hear all of your stories from Hawaii. 
you got it. Should I start with all the heroic stuff me and this dude did for the people in Hawaii? Yes! Um, yes, that sounds great. <laughs> this has to be about you know what, right? With the principal. Now begin the emergency morning assembly. As many of you may already know, Principal Kobayakawa passed away yesterday. I wonder if that suicide room was for real. It happened in front of the police station, didn't it? I think I was passing through there at the time. The principal had been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. He only wished for everyone to be able to lead a normal school life. And because of that love... Love? Bullshit, he was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? The Phantom Thieves? Do they kill people? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was gonna kill himself to make up for everything he did. That would be amazing! Either way... It serves that principal right. Hell no! We didn't do jack shit! Are people gonna blame us for this, too? I would like to see everyone live up to our late principal's wishes as proud Shujin students, and... <sighs> I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? No matter how I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. But she would never do something so foolish. And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? We don't kill. What does this mean? <sighs> but I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. I have no reason to believe everything you've said. However, it seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. If you saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. And if you looked into his palace, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Tell me, what did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Why did it turn out as it did? I need you to tell me everything. Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. People are already talking about it online. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Could it be that we're responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? What do you mean? If we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart, maybe this never would have happened. But then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. There's a lot of opinions online. It's only natural that he died. Covering up crimes is wrong. The comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on our side. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. This is kind of scary. Are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. That's... Whoa, guys, let's get back on topic. Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? You tell them, Inari. Why me? 
First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation, but she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. The corporation Okumura Foods. More prominently, its CEO, Kunikazu Okumura. Okumura? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere. From Big Bang Burger. Big Bang Burger? For real? You know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. I get that, but still... We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. I already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAV. He has a palace for sure. That settles it, then! He's totally our next target! That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings, after all. Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this too carelessly... Beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is... unsettling. Yeah... the excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. You too, Han? You're just gonna go against what people want? Huh? No, but... For real? L looks like we're not gonna agree today, then. Sheesh! Some team you are! What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this! Even you, Ryuji! You just back down the second someone disagrees with you! What? I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves' name to pick up girls anyway. Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine, but getting conceited over it is unacceptable. He's got a point. Hey! Aren't you acting for your own benefit here, too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey! You little... Fine. I can take on some small-time target like Okumura on my own. Sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. Well, well she was she more was useful more than useful. you, as a matter of fact. Matter of fact. Hey, that's hey, inexcusable! I'm going to show you who the useless one actually is! Alright then, bring it on! Ryuji, stop! Looks like I don't belong here after all. Well, this is goodbye. Calm down. Uh, Morgana, wait! See you. I bet he's back in no time. <sighs> Damn it! I'm human. I have to be. <sighs> All right. I've managed by myself before, and I can do it again now. I just need to take down Okumura before those guys do. Huh? That kitty... I can't believe this. The public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. Then again, I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves' doing. I remember the data you showed me about Okumura Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. Well, it would be problematic if there wasn't one. So, you're jumping the gun here. You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. It's all for the sake of the case. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, 
But you've been far too aggressive, Sai-san. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society. I hope you realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. It's a shame. Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. I'm really messed up. Shall we dispose of it? Leave it be. We do not have time to waste on a solitary feline. Is this really... impossible alone? How horrible! What? I can't see. Who's there, Hester? Ugh. Hey, have you seen Morgana? Should we look for him? I want to, but maybe we're worrying too much. I just kind of expected he'd come home when he got hungry. Oh, maybe he went to someone else's place. Let's ask. Morgana's still not back. Huh? He hasn't come home yet? The food's still in his bowl. Do you think he really just took off like that? He's a cat, so it's possible he got into an accident. Does he really... Seem to be the type who would go off and die on us like that, though? It's just been one day. Y'all are worrying too much. He's probably just off doing his own stuff. I mean, he used to live alone, remember? Just don't worry about it. I'm sure he'll come back if something happens. Aren't they all being way too cold about this? Oh well. Have a good day. Come straight home once school's over, okay? What's wrong? We're gonna wait together in case Morgana comes home. Anyway, come straight home. I wonder what's up with Morgana, though. He should just hurry and come back. Intruder, after them. Where did they go? We must find them. Another one has been located. Beyond guard. There are two of them. Divide and pursue. Intruders discovered. Commencing pursuit protocol. Mona's still not home. I'm sure he'll come back when he gets hungry. On to our next story. Late last night, multiple glass windows were found shattered at the Okumura Foods corporate headquarters. This is that Okumura. Other damages have also been reported, including the destruction of a statue depicting Mr. Okumura. Hmm. Wonder if someone's got a grudge against that guy. However, there were no signs of a break-in. Identifying the culprit is expected to be difficult. You think Mona charged in there by himself? It's possible. Yeah, he may not seem like it at sometimes, but he's totally a capable cat when he wants to be. Either way, let's go to Akuma's palace tomorrow. I'll contact everyone. Morgana mm -hmm. went into Akuma's palace? Is that true, Futaba? He did say he'd go alone. Does that mean he's in danger? The chances of that are highly likely. Yeah, we, we should all go in after him. The palace is m most likely at their corporate headquarters. I'll look into it a little more. Alright, let's do it. We yeah, gotta look into those mental shutdown things too. I prefer a little more caution, but this is an emergency. Then we'll go tomorrow. Don't forget everyone. This 
place is huge. It is the headquarters of a large corporation, after all. If anything, getting into the real building is impossible. Mona seriously went to a palace based on somewhere like this? It's definitely on a different scale than the ones we've dealt with previously. I searched Okumura online. He's totally up to something. Don't you think he's guilty too? Well, no soon enough. I'm positive I'm right. We're here for Mona. I know, I know. We gotta make sure we squeeze the juice on those mental shutdown things out of him too. You said you found the palace keywords, right, Futaba? The corporate HQ is outer space. Huh? The hell? Oh, so that's why it's called Big Bang Burger. Big Bang is space lingo, you know? Um, not necessarily. So the concept behind the store branch name came from the CEO himself. Outer space, hmm? How exciting. We better be able to breathe once we get in there. Is everyone ready? I'm activating it now. You're already considered threats? President Okumura must be on guard, what with everything that's been in the news. It's just causing more trouble for us. Whoa! It's as though we're in a film. I wish I brought my sketchbook. Hmm? What is that? Robots? There are tons of them. They all have the Big Bang Burger logo. They're saying something. You must adhere to your shifts. If you don't like it, you can quit. However, you will not be compensated. What are they talking about? Oh! They said it's being disposed of. These robots are part of Okumura's cognition, correct? That means they represent... This is pure speculation, but this is most likely how the workers of Okumura Foods are viewed by their CEO. So he thinks they're his robots? If they're treated like this in reality as well, then the company truly is exploiting them. See? Okumura is a piece of shit, just like I said! Mona is our main objective here. He doesn't seem to be anywhere nearby. Let's search further in. Damn it. Huh? What? The door is closed. Is there any way of biometric Performing biometric authentication. This is... Authentic authorization error. Only registered personnel may proceed at this point. Oh, this is... What the hell's up with this? Look at it. There's no way we can force that thing open. We've hit a blockade quite early. But we have to control the real Okumura's cognition to pass. Oh, that means Mona hasn't been able to proceed any further either. So if he's here in the palace... He would have to be somewhere before this door. Halt, vigilante! Who's that? <sighs> Those clothes. <gasps> Could she be? A black mask? Wait, is she the one Madarame and Kanashiro were talking about? So, she's the reason for all those people going brain dead? It was a girl this whole time? Are you the one who has been following us? Say something, damn it! <laughs> Enough of your misunderstandings. Mona! You're okay! Long time no see, Panther. Uh, hasn't been that long. 
If you came for the treasure, you should just go home with your tail between your legs. Actually, we were looking for you. The treasure will be taken by me, and this... This beauty thief! Beauty thief? I'll have you know she's a Persona user, too. My name is Beauty Thief! She really called herself that? Uh, any tension that was in the air has just gone out the window. We will take the treasure! Mona already said that. You are not qualified to be Phantom Thieves. Do you even understand what it means to be a Phantom Thief? An admirable Phantom Thief is... Yeah, tell them! You! What do you think it means? No one who helps the weak. Yes, that's right. Enough with the idle chit-chat. You started it. Mona, who the hell is she? Wait, I'll fix this. Me? Learn to take a hint! Huh? And you, you're very vulgar and very stupid! What? Um... What was it again? You came all the way here just to say that. Yeah. Sure. I don't know. Kind of feels like she ain't dangerous at all. We will take the treasure. You already said that. We don't have time to chat. No point. It won't open. Don't underestimate us. Behind you! Here they come. We need to go! We'll meet up later at our usual spot. Let's hurry! Oh, hey! Bet you're tired. Uh, that was quite rough. I haven't felt exhaustion like this since I first awakened to my persona. What have you been looking at all this time? Sorry, I just didn't want to stand around and wait. The burglary at Okumura Foods is circulating the news again. Ugh, damn it! Why'd they keep coming after only me? It's all because Little Miss Beauty Thief opened that door! That door most likely had a biometric authentication lock. So how'd she get it to open? I wonder who that girl could be. We were told that she's a Persona user, correct? Do you believe it's true? Well, she did look like one. Did Mona betray us? Maybe. No. I don't think he's betrayed us. If he had, it'd make more sense for him to directly threaten us. Such as exposing our identities. <sighs> Either way, how the hell's Morgana related to that beauty thief? Considering her tone and physique, she looked about our age. I feel like I've seen her somewhere. Uh, for real? Where at? At school, I think? Wait, what? But now that you mention it, I feel like I've seen her too. Is she a student of Shujin? I just feel like that's the case. She did have a mask on, after all. The registry in the student council room has photos of every student. Let's check them all tomorrow. 
If we can figure out the identity of the beauty thief, that may help us regain contact with Morgana. Futaba and I should further probe into Okumura Foods, then. It'd be best if we investigate how sudden mental shutdowns are connected to them. We're gonna take them down. Things are really heating... Things are really starting to heat up online. People are going on and on bashing Okumura Foods. Apparently, they've been secretly using low-quality ingredients brought in from overseas. Furthermore, any employees who were suspicious of Okumura were let go without reason. That coupled with the mysterious death of a rival company CEO. What's this? What's this all of a sudden? Things are going up in flames. I don't think... I don't really get what kicked it off, though. People have been coming after us, too. They think we should just hurry up and punish them. That's irresponsible. They're just acting like spectators or something. It wasn't like this just a few days ago, though. There perhaps have been a whistleblower from the within? Come on, we're... We've got even more reason to take Okumura down now. Can we really accept all of this information as truth, though? Either way, we need to do something about Morgana. Yep, anyways, see y'all tomorrow. Would someone normally call themselves Beauty Thief? I bet Morgana made her say it. Uh, it's still a weird thing to say, even if we told her to. Plus, they lied about her being able to use the persona, too. We don't know if that is indeed a lie. But we didn't see her use it. No matter how you slice it, she's totally just an amateur. I want your guard now. I don't think we gotta worry about that, dude. We can't let her... We can't take her lightly. She has Morgana on her side, remember? I agree with Futaba. At the very least, they are one step ahead of us. True, an amateur would not have been able to open that gate. They've clearly figured out something we don't know. We'll need to uncover the identity of that masked girl. I wonder who it could be. Oh! Man, this girl's hot! Ah, but she's younger than me. Ryuji! No way! She's the same age as me? She looks like my dad's friend. Get back to work. Why don't we take a break? It's no surprise our concentration is waning. Even if it's only the female students, there are easily hundreds of them. They're all starting to look the same to me. Think we can really find her? I'm sure. Someone sure is confident. Hmm? This girl! Haru Okumura. <gasps> Okumura? Wasn't the beauty thief like this too? Especially the fluffy hair. That's gotta be her! It would also explain how she got past the door's biometric reader. This may be worth looking into. But why was she at the palace? We could just make her spill the beans herself. She may have already gone home for the day, so let's try tomorrow. I'm gonna lock up. I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, 
I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm... Haru Okumura, correct? The only daughter of Kunikazu Okumura, CEO of Okumura Foods. Care to explain why you are inside your father's palace? Oh, so that's where we met. Wow, you figured it out in just a day. You looked really good in that biker gang outfit. Let's not talk about that. Let's do. Please? No? Okay. So, why did you become a phantom thief? <sighs> My father's highly regarded as a manager, but I had various... doubts about him. Things have grown quite serious lately. That's why I want to make amends, even though it may only be for my own satisfaction. But I wonder if this is just running from the problem. Where did you meet Morgana? It was pure coincidence. I found a lonely-looking cat in front of our office building. And that was Morgana? Mm-hmm. And when I followed him, I ended up in the Metaverse. There's no way for me to change my father's company. But if I became a phantom thief, I thought I'd at least be able to change him. Isn't there any way we can work together? I can't cooperate with people who don't know what they want to do. What you're doing is unnecessarily causing a stir among the public. Besides, the phantom thieves who should be helping the weak are not helping their own teammate. Uh. I just want my father to atone for his crimes. And help Monachan, who gave me a chance to do just that. But aren't our objectives the same? It'd be better if we were... No, thank you. I will do this with Monachan and him alone. She hit quite a sore spot. We don't know what we want to do, huh? It seems getting her cooperation won't be possible. Let's consult with the others on our next move. We shouldn't ignore Morgana, either. I'm home, Father. Drive them away. That's right. Make it a priority. Uh, I finally get a foothold into politics and this happens. Phantom thieves? Huh. Did the media ask you anything? No, not at all. Um, what's this about phantom thieves? It seems I'm ranked first on the forum of these so-called phantom thieves. Is it because of the news coverage? It's jealousy of the successful. Nothing but the barks of the masses who lack the resolve to sacrifice what's needed for their well-being. Both the young and the old are overjoyed with some foolish idols. This country has no future. What if they do exist? What if these phantom thieves really can steal hearts? Are you still having doubts about me? No. More importantly, I hope things are going well with that young man. Yes, father. Very well, then. He may not seem like it, but he's still the son of an influential politician. Be cordial with him. He'll eventually become a necessary connection for this company. Or rather, for me. I understand. I will do the best I can. Good. That's how a daughter of Okumura should be. some weird comments on Mishima Kun's website. They were thanking us for resolving requests that we didn't actually complete. It's probably just a prank. Those requests are indeed resolved. Someone must be going into mementos other than us. I think it's Morgana. Agreed. He's probably taking the beauty thief with him too. We should look into this. I was thinking of persuading a Kumara-san at school, but she's been avoiding me. How are we gonna look into this then? We'll stake out mementos. Good plan. I'd rather chase him down instead of sit and wait. The method is indeed a classic one, but it is a safe bet. Yeah, I think it's better than just looking for them. I'm gonna have all sorts of snacks. No teachers to stop me on this field trip. Well, why don't we get this over with? 
Let's do it tomorrow. Man, it's crazy how many people want us to change the heart of the cover of food CEO. I mean, duh. Who's doing tons of shady shit? Sounds like everyone's expecting us to actually take it down. Come on, we gotta do this. Okay. Hell yeah. That aside, does any everyone remember plan for today? Yes, we're in hold we're to hold a stake out in the mountains. You think they're gonna show? Well, we'll just have to wait until they do. For real? We can't go back until we make up with Marcana. I'm sure they'll come. I hope you're right. You're going to apologize when Mona comes, all right? I know already. And why are you just saying that to me? We need to be wary of the beauty thief, too. So we're doing a stakeout here. We'd better be ready for the long haul. Ain't he gonna show up today? I mean, what time is it now? Hold that thought. You guys are seriously slacking off way too much. Do you have business with us? Aren't you fulfilling the requests on the Phantom Aficionado website? Even leaving comments? It'd be best if you don't accept them so recklessly. The police will track you down in no time. If that were to happen, we'd be caught up in it as well. That's not what I intended, but that would be my fault. Uh, I'm actually not that great with machines. I'm truly sorry. Why are you apologizing? They're telling us for our sake. We should be thanking them. Won't you please put what happened behind us? So I'm the one you're here for? You guys need me after all? Is that it? They're vital to our team. Really? Ryuji! You're sorry too, Morgana. We weren't taking your feelings into consideration at all. Lady on. Uh, everyone, shouldn't you be using code names? Ryuji didn't really mean what he said, you know? He wants to apologize. Well, it's like... It was my bad, too. I mean, I don't mind if you're not human or if you're useless. What a douche. On setup was completely ruined. Oh, is that right? So I am just some useless cat to you guys. You're so full of yourselves, but do you have the skills to back that up? Try and catch me, then. Get in, beauty thief. If you can't do this, don't count on me ever coming back. There they go. Did he even think about how long he made us wait? Fine, we'll do this! Jeez, this isn't what we came here to do. You gotta hear us out, Morgana. There's nothing I have to talk to you about. Come on. There's no need to keep being so stubborn. I can't just give in like this. I have my pride to protect. <gasps> What's that over there? Huh? <gasps> Shoot. It seems we've fallen for the oldest trick in the book. Ah, those two. What do we do now? I don't hear the sound of his engine at all. Could they have left Mementos? Our lack of vehicle puts us at a severe disadvantage. We should probably just head home for today. Damn it! Freaking Morgana! Hm. Serves them right. Are you sure that was what you wanted? Of course it was. You made me look everywhere for you. What were 
are you doing somewhere without any reception? Out late with guys, that's it, isn't it? I would never do such a thing! Come on, let me have some fun too, will ya? Can't you do that for me? Ah! Haru! You little... Let go of Haru! Ah! Uh, what the... Goddamn cat! Yeah. Mama-chan! Damn it. I am useless. Someone... Anyone... Is anybody out there? Will you shut up, you stupid cat? Damn that Morgana! He is so getting it the next time we run into him! Mona's voice? Hey, over there! That doesn't seem right to me. Please! Uh, let go! Hukumura-san! Mona! The hell are you doing to our friend? Sorry about the disturbance. It's just a lover's quarrel with my fiance. Fian what? But she's clearly fighting you! How dare you make a fool of me! I'll be telling your father about this too. I won't forget your faces. Are you okay? I'm fine, but Mona-chan... This is nothing. Was that person really your fiancé? Whoa, so you're engaged then? That didn't seem like an ordinary fight, though. Shouldn't you talk to your parents about it? I think it'd be useless. I'll just be told to beg for his forgiveness, even if it means groveling on the ground. <laughs> it seems she has her reasons. I'll, um, apologize about what happened earlier. So, would you let Haru rest for a while? Of course. We'll take her to your place, yeah? Thanks. I'm sorry. I fell asleep. Did you get enough rest? Mona-chan? Anyway, it's just as I told you a moment ago. I can't have you guys risk your lives anymore for someone useless like me. To be frank, there's no assurance that I'll turn back into a human either. This can't be called a fair deal. That's why I think we should split up. <laughs> Who said we're acting as phantom thieves for your sake? I'm doing it to expand my own horizons. No need to tiptoe around the situation. We're splitting up. You should stop lying. Do you remember what you said to me when I found you collapsed in the metaverse? That you're a phantom thief. That you're going to get stronger and have the others acknowledge you. You love being here, don't you? Of course not! I was lying to myself too, but when I formed a contract with my persona, I understood it all. Doing this because my father is doing something horrible was nothing but a superficial reason. The truth is, I... Don't want to get married, right? I thought that since an adult with responsibilities made the decision, it couldn't be wrong. I was such a fool, tied down by vague notions, and stayed quiet as my marriage partner was chosen. But I won't tolerate this anymore. I can't stand that creep! <sighs> That's how I truly feel. Why are you looking at me all of a sudden? Mona-chan, why is it that you always talked about becoming human again? That's... At first, I only thought of this team as a temporary dwelling until I regained my memories. But I wasn't making any progress on finding out what I am or why I was born. 
Morgana. I wanted a reason of my own. A reason to stay with the Phantom Thieves. I don't have anyone I want to save or get revenge on. Someone like me has no reason to stay here. That's why, to me, this team is... Come on, say it. You can do it. It's the only place I can belong. I want to stay here forever. That was refreshingly honest. <laughs> you should have just said so from the start. Jeez. If you stick with me, there's no telling what kind of trouble will come up. You better be sure about this. It's a little late for all that, don't you think? Of course we want to stay with you, too. <clears throat> uh, so... Well... I'm sorry I worried you guys. This is where I belong. My mind's all set. I'll make sure to work hard to pay my dues. It's too late to cancel our deal, got it? We're reforming our give-and-take deal. All right. Well, in the end, wouldn't you say that your encounter with us was destiny? That's right. Encounter? Hmm? Oh, crap! The last train's coming up! I must go as well. Let's continue this another time. I... Stay at our place. I'll arrange it. See you all tomorrow! I'm gonna sleep. I'm exhausted. Man. This place is as drab as always. Hey, what's going on here? You brought over another girl? <laughs> don't get any ideas. That's not what I meant. Anyway, don't break her heart, all right? So, you found our cat and even took care of it. Oh, it wasn't a bother or anything. I'm the one who took care of you, though. <laughs> what's up? You seem happy. It's been a while since I've had a meal with so many people. Make sure you go home today before it gets too late, okay? I'm sure your parents are worried. It's fine if you don't want to go home either, you know? No, I'll go home. If my father suspects something, it'll be more difficult to change his heart, wouldn't it? I'll contact you again, so... Oh, right! Can we exchange contact info? Will you be okay on your own? If you need, I can go with you. You belong here, don't you, Monachan? Well, yeah. The matter's been settled. You'll be welcomed into his household. Excuse me? You won't officially be registered yet, but isn't that how things are with young people these days? Go prove your sincerity to him. You can do that, can't you? So, I'm not even allowed to decide where I will live, am I? Not only do you come home late, you've even stayed out overnight without permission. I thought I had been clear about the friends you choose. Father, they're not like... I have my hands full right now with the company. Don't cause any more trouble for me. Hello. Yes, it's fine. Go on. to discuss something with everyone. Can we all meet? So what are we gonna do about Akumara? Nobody wants to back out after we've come this far, right? Of course not. It's highly likely he has come he has some involvement in the mental shutdown cases. Yeah, we can't just let that slide. Plus our fans are really hoping we go for it. But if we want to accomplish some, anything, we'll need Haru's help. Let's talk to her. Oh yeah, she 
said she wants to come chat at LeBlanc tonight. Chat? About what? It sounded serious. Let's continue this at LeBlanc then. See you there, everyone. Haru. What could be wrong? I wonder why she wants to talk to us. That's horrible. It's that same fiancé guy, right? You know what's going to happen. Based on what Haru just told us, she'll be taken to his house on October 11th. That means our deadline is the 10th. But if we trigger a change of heart in your father, he'll definitely be taken by the police. The label of a criminal's daughter will forever stick with you. Your current living situation may change as well. If I accept a happiness based on the misfortune of others, I'll be no better than my father. And to be honest, I've actually left a request on the Phantom Aficionado website before. She did so around the time we were mulling over who to target next. But the Phantom Thieves didn't make a move. That's when I met Mona-chan. I thought it was fate. I made my decision then. If the Phantom Thieves wouldn't act, I'd do it myself. The mental shutdowns, treasure, and finally, the change of heart. Our interests have come together. Would you cooperate with us now? Of course! I should be the one cordially asking to be allowed on the team. From here on, we may be going up against the culprit behind those mental shutdown occurrences. This will be different from our training in Mementos. You better brace yourselves. You're suddenly lecturing us? You're too naive. Haru's barely a hair better than an amateur. She's awakened to her powers, but it's weak. Even her persona is lacking a solid form at the moment. Weak? Really? She can transform at the very least, but to be frank, she may slow us down. A lot. I'm sorry for causing such trouble. Nah, don't worry about it. It's actually convenient for us to target that CEO. Check out this news blog. There's a lot of negative comments in regard to the Phantom Thieves. The names of obvious criminals have come up, so why haven't the Phantom Thieves acted yet? The way they're getting heated is on a different level. Don't forget about the intel on the mental shutdown cases, all right? Of course! We'll get them both! October, uh, 10th, was it? We're gonna change Okumura's heart by then! Okay. On. Perfect timing. Huh? What do you mean? I've been working on a way to incorporate beauty into our fights, instead of merely doing away with our enemies each time. And only a moment ago, I was struck with a bolt of inspiration. Ah, uh, is that right? So, what did you mean by perfect timing, then? Ah, uh, yes. So my potential idea is good and all, but I'll require your help to pull it off. Would you please lend me a hand? Sure, but, uh, nothing too weird, all right? Have no fear. Ooh, that totally sounds like something you'd come up with, Yusuke. Of course, if you have no interest, you're in no way obligated to help. No, no, it sounds awesome! Oh, but what if we tried doing this beforehand? Oh, oh, we should definitely incorporate that into the attack. I never would have come up with that part on my own. Awesome! I can't wait! Actually, I want to try it right now as well. I truly hope the star will grant us this. information it's gotten even bigger this happened because we stole another treasure right I feel like it's gonna keep getting bigger and bigger I don't think mementos's territorial expansion is caused by us stealing a treasure I bet it's things like the number of searches for phantom thieves the ranking of trending words 
and the access counter on Mishima's website and stuff. Even now, it's slowly expanding. The more we become the topic of conversation, the more memento spreads? Maybe it's the other way around. What do you mean? We're the ones expanding it. Or perhaps Mementos grants further passage as we become more prevalent in the general public's cognition. Like... getting free admission for being popular? That's rather well put. For real? That's amazing! Actually, you're amazing, Futaba! How'd you figure that out? Piece of cake. I didn't know at all. What have I been doing? <laughs> all right, let's keep mo moving to the next task before things get all messy like last time. No difficult questions, Justine. Just give them an assignment. Yes. Understood. Huh? What? What's with you? You're not usually this cooperative. I have no intention of abandoning my duty, but I would like to know the truth of this situation. After all, we possess a mysterious list which seems to have foretold the current state of affairs. Who wrote it? Why do I recognize the penmanship? Why does observing growth feel nostalgic? And beyond that, what was the true intent of its creator? Yeah. I thought I had... I said no difficult questions. To be honest though, I have arrived at a hypothesis. What? You know the answer? We manage the inmate's power via several arcana, which symbolize the mystic nature of this world. In truth, the encounter we share with him is presented, by, represented by the strength arcana. Strength represents great power, a mighty will, and the awakening of the unknown. Sounds about right. Caroline, in our interactions, has the inmate been the only one to have had something awaken within him? Perhaps therein lies the answer. What's that supposed to mean? Ugh, damn it. Why do I feel so weird? Hmm. Although, this next task is gonna be the eighth one. There aren't too many left on the list. You've come this far, inmate. I hope you see it through. If you do so, the answer will surely become clear. And, uh, you're more than just some random schmuck to us now. You're the only one who can find the answer we're looking for. You got that, inmate? Listen up, inmate. Okay, next. You've only got to bring us one more persona before you get another reward. Ah, you're back. What do we do about that cheater? Ain't we screwed if our attacks can't do anything? He is invincible at his game, so he is invincible in mementos as well. Then how about we just beat him at that game of his? Oh, but he'll just cheat. How about we ask for help from a skilled player? Supposedly, there's an insanely good gamer they call the king somewhere in this city. And I've seen all over the forums how he managed to beat his cheater himself with orthodox methods. For real? Where can we find him? I checked his account from the official server, but I couldn't pinpoint what arcade he goes to. Sorry. But if he's really that famous, won't it be easy to find him? That's true. Okay, we should gather intel on the king at the arcades around the city. Mm. Let's get them! Please excuse me for messaging you so late in the evening. I truly apologize for what has happened in this case. So formal. She seems to be a particularly conscientious person. Conscientious person. It kind of feels like that formality is putting some distance between us, though. We're teammates, are we? But I'm the newest member. I need to act respectfully. We don't really pay mind to those kinds of things. Furthermore, you're already one of us. Thank you, Mako-chan. 
Do you mean me? Sorry, I think my fingers typed that subconsciously. I'm just so glad to have found a friend my age. Not a problem. That personal touch is actually refreshing. Great, I hope we get to be the bestest of friends, Mako-chan. Uh, sorry about that, I sort of got carried away. 